Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Pray Slay and I'm here to do an update flip through of my um, journaling Bible for the second quarter of 2019. So that would be, um, what is it, April, May, and June. So there's a previous video of mine in which I go over the first quarter. Um, I just wanted to point out real quick that I have some new charms on him. Um, it is wrapped of course this is mama blue clay and she gave me the ribbons and everything but i added some charms so i think she even gave me this crystal charm and then i have um rose pineapple and some ribbon which happens to be the print pray slay colors <laughs> and then i have a charm here which is a cross from shop lca and then I have another cross from, what is it? Not Hobby Lobby, um, Tuesday morning. And which is here. I like how it kind of, it's a bookmark charm. So it goes in there and then it comes out right here. It's a K at the bottom. So I really like that. So I just want to get right into it. Just wanted to show y'all how he's all dressed up. Got his little bling with him now. So he's cute. All right. So moving on. I'm going to print pray slate Bible. So. I have um, this here, which is a pocket uh, from Target Dollar Spot in which I put these cards in. Um, these cards kind of help me track what I've been doing in my Bible. So, uh, so far it's about 50 plus entries um, and I keep track of them by writing the scriptures and the dates on these Project Light cards. So... Um, I have a ton of other ones in the back. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen when it gets pulled up. But again, I have a ton of space in the back too. And I can always put another pocket here, a pocket here. I can put a pocket anywhere. So, um, I'm going to go through uh, what I've been doing so far. But let me flip through some pages because sometimes I use um, leftovers from my kits and I want to say random, but yeah, random spots in the Bible. So this is just hanging out with God and use a sloth kit right there. I use this unicorn clip for a couple of pages in the front um, before I get to New Testament. So if I take that off, you'll see that I use some stickers here. And just like I said, other places where I just want to journal or stick my stickers down. So, is there something in between there? Paper. All right, so I'm going to put my unicorn clip back because it holds my spot of my contents. Um, I think you saw this one before. So, the first new entry is in the first page of the Bible. So, Genesis 127. Um, let me lay all these out just in case the scripture is not clearly highlighted. I'll just have that there. All right. So Genesis 127. Then we have Genesis. Let's see. Any other Genesis? I mean, I know there's Genesis clearly right here. This is just everywhere Genesis. I don't see. All right. I'll just go over what I highlighted. So I'm all in there. <laughs> so I have Genesis 29, um, 31, um, then I have 30, different places in 30, and yeah, 30. So I think, you know what, this was not a journaling, and this was me studying when I was doing my Bible study, so that's why it's like that. Okay, <laughs> I mean, it's a journaling entry, but it's not the my typical journaling entry. This is from my Bible study with my study Bible. And then I came in here and started highlighting in here or underlining in here. All right, Deuteronomy 32.2. The whole book of Ruth. So we have this page, this page. I mean, the book of Ruth isn't really long, but I did journal on all pages for the book of Ruth. I haven't done anything on this page. As far as stickers, but I did have my notes. It's like my favorite book. Um, what is this? 
2 Chronicles 15, 7. Uh, Psalm 23, 5 through 6. Psalm 51, 10, 12. Psalm 86, um, 13. Psalm 145, 8 through 9. Psalms a lot. Okay. Proverbs. 3, 5 through 6. And then here we have a hinge, a hexy hinge. And I did add the trust. I don't think I put this, used this, showed me doing this on the video. So that's that. Proverbs 29, 25. I think I showed myself before. This is me. I think I showed y'all this. I don't have a date on here. It's Proverbs 31. I don't have a date. So I don't know if I already showed you that or not. So there it goes. Song of Solomon. This is probably like one of my most precious entries. I love the big flower. I love me and my husband. We're super weird, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, Lamentation. 322 Ezekiel 3426 Malachi where am I at Malachi 310 Um, Matthew 7, 1 through 2. Matthew 26, 1. Is it? No, 41. I'm sorry. Matthew 26, 41. Matthew 28. John twelve twelve John fifteen twelve through thirteen Romans four seven This Romans fifteen thirteen. First Corinthians fifteen three through four. And this has some journaling cards inside. One, two, three. journal on this one yet this is um second corinthians what is that nine colossians two two hebrews four twelve and that is it Ooh. I don't think I added anything to the back. I think you already saw that. So for some reason I have this back here. I don't know why. <laughs> but that is all. So then I'm just going to put these in order. When I started them in 2018. That's when I got this Bible.
stick that in there. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my flip through. Let me know if you have any questions on what kit I use, what um, what video goes with um, which entry, um, any questions about what I learned. Um, just let me know. And don't feel pressured to, you know, journal a certain amount of pages a day or in a week or a certain amount of time. I think that you should really just get in your Bible and enjoy God's presence and just have fun in it. It's really not a competition or anything like that. If at this time you don't have the same 50 entries or even if you have more, it's really about what did you learn. So, um, and that time that you spent and then how much did you share? So, uh, I don't really feel the need to um, place a pressure on anybody to say you need to have the same amount or you should be doing this, that, and other. I mean, I would hope that you are spending time with God, but it doesn't have to be um, documented in this way. Um, don't feel pressured is just the message that I'm trying to get across to you. I want you to have fun. This was a lot of fun to me. Like I had a lot of fun in this Bible. I had a lot of time spent with God. All my prayers are in here. My notes, just a whole bunch of of me plus God is in here. Um, so I really enjoyed my time. So I just wanted to, you know, share that with you guys and make sure that you don't feel like you need to be doing the same thing or more. So I leave you with this flip through. I had a lot of fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to flipping through, um, the next quarter with you guys. All right. Bye-bye.